Wow, can you hear me? Okay, cool. This is my first ever uh, TED talk, so please bear with me. My name is Anirudh Kala. I am a co-founder of a company called Salable Corp. We majorly work with AI and machine learning based products. And at, at Salable, we try to innovate with things which find, which, you know, which are around us, which are probably not that important, but that's where the innovation lies. So AI, how AI can change your daily life. AI is something we've all heard of or probably not heard of. So AI stands for artificial intelligence. Um, it allows you to think about things that have not been deemed important. For example, the flow of water, for example, the, the air pressure, for example, the conversations. And to do that, to explain that idea, I'm gonna talk about the conversations. Conversations that are around us, conversations that, that we are part of, conversations that we are not part of, and conversations that have been imposed on us as we see nowadays. How can conversations be important to us? Well, imagine a world where we could measure conversations. Well, I've used three very important words, conversations, imagine, and measure. Well, first of all, if I were to measure something, why in the world I would measure conversations? I've got the stock market, I've got the census, the population of India, which anyways are not being measured correctly. Why would I measure conversations? Well, you could do that. They are enormous benefits, and that's what I'm gonna talk about. One of the small innovations we are working on. So imagine a call center. I'm, I'm sure you all have had some experiences with call center, and I'm not too sure how many of you want to be part of a call center ecosystem. Having said that, call centers still are one of the most innovative areas in our corporate sector. Now, imagine you have a product. You've bought a product, and you are not very happy with it. You call up that particular support center, the call center, and more often than not, you land up not being satisfied, and that's precisely because the guy on the other side isn't that qualified. Now, whenever you call up, you know, there is always a, a pre-recorded sound that you get. This call would be recorded for monitoring and quality purposes. However, they do record, but probably don't listen to it. Or even if they listen to it, they'll, the queue is so long that your turn would come around 20 days or after 20 days. Now, you had a problem and you couldn't find the resolution, right? The, the solution for that particular problem. Now, what happens if you are not satisfied, the call center company is going to do the analysis of a call in 20 days, at least 20 days, and you'll get a call, sir, we figured out that you're not very happy, uh, we want to provide you something and blah, blah, blah. But by the time you've already moved on to that product, on a new product, imagine, had you get that, uh, got that call, maybe in 10 minutes or 15 minutes of your very first conversation, that would have probably stopped the, you know, you moving away from that particular product. And client churn is something that, you know, horrifies every other company, right? So call center can become effective if they apply some, some very basic AI principles, some very basic AI technologies on their conversations. Imagine you are booking a hotel, you book that hotel, you move to that place, and you figure out that the hotel is not there. You call up, I'll not name the companies, you call up that particular support center and say, I can find the hotel. And he would say, okay, sir, we're giving a call in 10 minutes again. You wait for 10 minutes, you didn't get the call, you call up again. Repeat the entire story again. And then again and again and again. Imagine, the moment you call, the call center executive knows what your problem is, has the summary of all your past conversations, and can tell you what exactly is your problem. And how can they you know, solve it? That's the power of that's the power of of conversations, and if you can measure it, you can suddenly do a lot of things with it. Minutes of meetings. Well, I've worked in multiple management consulting firms, and statistically, they spend around 25 to 30 percent of the times in meetings. Now, is that time really effective? We don't know, because sometimes they just end up, you know, discussing about something with, which they have discussed like a few weeks back. Can there be a system which gives you a automa an automated minutes of meeting the moment you're done with a, a particular call? Right now there isn't, but imagine if that could be done. If that could be done, you can figure out if your boss is stopping you whenever you're trying to say something. 
If that is possible, you can figure out whether the tone of the particular person was actually matching up with other speaker's tone, or was there ever an agreement in the discussion? Well, all of these, these, all of these questions do possess a lot of, you know, assumptions that conversations can be measured. In a particular meeting, if you, I don't know, how I many of you are uh, currently working, I think most of you are students, but in case some of you are already there in the, in the, in the industry who've, who've been part, uh, you would find that on this, uh, in these kind of conversations, the most important thing is, what do we talk about? Can we come up with something like, can we, can we come up with something like, you know, what were the topics that we discussed in that call? So again, a very simple idea, but has an assumption which is based on the fact that can we measure conversations? Well, address your client better. I can share an example. Well, one of my previous boss, who was a PhD from Harvard, uh, he was late to a particular call. And when I asked him, why were he late? He said he was going through all the audio logs we've had with this client. And he prepared a list of 10 questions which he thought the client would ask. And believe you me, magically, the client only asked those 10 questions. And we got the deal within that discussion. And of course, he used the power of his intuition, his experience, his, his knowledge. But what about, what about those cases where you could automate that stuff? Can you figure out what a client needs? And can you ensure that you and your client are finally in agreement on something that you've been talking about? Well, a possible use case again. Some, some discussions on your product, can you figure out what people are talking about your product? Can you, can you figure out if people are, you know, positively, are very positive about a product? Can you figure out if, if there are people who are not very happy? Of course, we have the social media platform, we've got the text that can be measured. But the fact is, one very intuitive thing that we've missed out are the audio conversations, the video logs, the audio logs, which we normally miss out. And that has a lot of potential and of course, if you know how to treat it correctly, you can come up with various important business decisions. Well, one of the ways of doing it is looking at an audio waveform. I'm sorry, it's a bit more technology intensive. And the idea would be that you move in from an anchor position to a calm position. That means if your client, when you're talking to your client, if he's not happy or he's frustrated, how can I get him to a more calm state? And that is by, by ensuring that there are certain measures that you're taking which brings him to that state. Now, can it again be done? Yes, it can be. That is what we are doing as part of our product building in Cellable Corp. So again, the idea that conversations have some meaning stands true, only if you know how to use it correctly. What it takes? Well, as a common saying goes, Every AI project is only a 20-person AI project. That means the common sense, the data, and the logic is something I guess all of you already have. All you need to know is that rest of the remaining 20-person, which is AI. AI would then allow you to work with things, you know, which, which, are, which is there around you, which you've been using, but then the innovation, the innovation, again, I'm focusing on innovation, is something that will be re rendered with the help of AI. Well, can this really be done? Well, of course it can be done. It can be done with certain, you know, set of things that I've just talked about. With some math, that's one of the equations of topic modeling. You need to work on with some math. However, there's also something very important, which is concrete efforts. Every AI problem is based on the fact that it starts looking very easy. And in the middle, you get lost. In the end, and I'm saying end because you normally conclude that it's not possible to solve such kind of a problem. The fact is, you just need to stay with it for it to get solved. Well, uh, we ran a small analysis um, uh, of our product, and we have sensors in this room. And let's see what most of the guys are, are actually talking about. Oops. Well, 50% of you are talking should have invited Sunny Leone, and I second that idea. 20%, uh, 30% are thinking, is there a complimentary dinner? Maybe yes. Uh, 
person are thinking who in the world invited the speaker you know we could start it with something more flashy well again true and the last remaining 25% feel that probably it's a good idea and for those varies on me well that is that is exactly you know what i face being an entrepreneur not everyone believes in your idea and that's the best part there'll be people who will tell you this is not possible what you're trying to achieve is something out of it's it's unfathomable people have not done it and that's the beauty that's the fun people have not done it and that's that is something that should inspire you to go ahead and and you know do that stuff when i started off as an entrepreneur i started in in my hometown jaipur and not bangalore or hyderabad or or chennai or mumbai as most of my friends you know uh, approach to well i started with the hypothesis that it's always possible to have a local talent working for you and that's working for me as of now so to be an entrepreneur just need to innovate no funding no big idea no big team thank you so much